Today, we're diving into a real-life story that underscores the importance of being prepared to defend yourself, even in places you might consider safe, like your workplace. A Chick-fil-A employee in Stone Mountain fought off an armed robber in a dangerous confrontation that could have ended much worse. Kevin Blair was starting his shift early in the morning when he heard glass breaking. A man had smashed through the drive through window armed with a gun and demanded Kevin open the safe. When Kevin explained he didn't have access to the safe, the situation escalated. What followed was a three-minute struggle where Kevin fought back with everything he had. Punches, kicks, and even gouging the attacker's eye. The fight ended with the robber fleeing the scene and Kevin, though injured, managed to survive the ordeal. Uh, I come in and I put up the trucks, get everything out of everybody's way. By the time I got back there to the pallet, a guy came up behind me and had the gun right basically to the back of my head. You know, told me to go to the safe, open the safe. I tried to explain to the guy that I don't have access to the safe. It's not something that I can do. It's not in my job. Uh, and he wasn't hearing any of that. Through some discussion, he basically told me that if I didn't open the safe, I was going to die. We fought for roughly three minutes, you know, him throwing punches, knees, kicks me doing the same he a uh, couple of cuts over my eyes and one on the top of my head um, my thumb went into his eye several times and at that point in time he had kind of decided that he didn't want any more of it and I certainly didn't want him in the building so we came to a mutual unspoken agreement to escort him out the back door and let him go on his way Kevin's story is a powerful reminder of why self-defense training is so crucial we never know when or where danger might strike and while we hope to never need these skills it's far better to have them and not need them than to find ourselves helpless in a critical moment. I am a huge proponent of learning some type of self-defense. You know, hopefully you never have to be in a situation where you use it, but it's much better to have a tool to reach for when you need it than to not have it. I have a 13-year-old and an 11-year-old, and I'm glad to still be here for them. Kevin's quick thinking and training allowed him to go home to his family that day, and that's what matters most. If Kevin's story teaches us anything, it's that preparation is key. Whether it's martial arts, basic self-defense techniques, or simply being aware of your surroundings, taking the time to learn and practice these skills could one day save your life or the life of someone you care about. As a company that specializes in self-defense, the only critical thing I could say about this situation, and remember it's easy to be a Monday morning quarterback, Kevin did a lot of things right but it has to be said that he did not gain control of the gun. This gave the criminal numerous opportunities to shoot Kevin, and the situation could have turned out much, much worse. While Kevin did attack the weapon as the assault began, which was smart, he failed to gain control of it. Weapon disarmament is a skill that most people have never trained in, but this real-life story shows just how important it can be, even for the average civilian. Real-life fights are unpredictable, but knowing a few techniques for dealing with a gun or simply understanding the importance of gaining control of the weapon can change the outcome dramatically, improving your chances of survival. If you're interested in weapon disarmament techniques that actually work, check the link in the description. The flashy gun disarm moves you see in online videos are mostly garbage and are little more than parlor tricks. The techniques that actually work don't look flashy or slick, but they work and they've been proven in full speed training with simulation ammunition and proven in actual life and death encounters thanks for watching and stay safe